What I'd like to demonstrate here is how you determine a servo motor's min and max displacement. For this, we're going to be using a Tower Pro MG995R servo motor connected to a, an Adafruit servo motor hat. The servo is connected to channel 14 on the hat. The hat and the servo will both be powered by this uh, battery, 4AA battery pack. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and start the program. It's called uh, Servo Min Max Pi and it needs to be run as servo. Now when the program starts it's going to set the servo to what it believes could be the, min the middle value of its displacement. Uh, the, we have made certain assumptions here. The max displacement we've assumed to be 600 and the minimum at 100. So let me go ahead and start the program. Watch the servo. It will swing quite quickly to the middle position. Okay, we have launched the uh, window for controlling a single servo and uh, right now the slider is positioned at the 350 value. That's represented by this position on the physical servo. Now there are two ways in this window to control the servo. You can grab the button and move it up and down and the servo will swing either minimum or going maximum and at the same time the command will be echoed here that we're sending to the hat to control the servo. The second way to control the movement of the servo is to place the uh, the mouse or the pointer in this window and roll the wheel on the mouse. It lets you do finer increments. As you see here I'm rolling towards max changing the direction of the wheel I'm rolling towards minimum. Let me go ahead and move this uh, servo towards its maximum position using the slider. At some point it's going to stop but the slider will continue to pump out increasing values. Uh, this is not good because you've already reached the end point of your servo and to continue to try and force it to the higher values could cause you to strip gears. Uh, here I'm still moving it, still, but now I've stopped. I stopped somewhere around, I believe it was 557. There it is, it's 555, 59, it has stopped. Definitely stopped at 572. I'm trying to read this and watch the servo. All right, 563 is about, I would say, its, uh, its maximum displacement or servo max. Let's go to the minimum. We're now at 100. I know this is past its stop point, so let me start moving. All right, at 106, the servo starts to move. Yeah, probably around 109. So I would go ahead and set servo min to be safe at, oh, I don't know, say 100 and 115. You can always adjust it later. You take the servo min and the servo max values and you put it in this program and then you can run the servo without really being concerned with it. are you going to exceed uh, its maximum minimum displacements and damage the, uh, the gearing mechanism. Um, this would also be true on, on other programs where you have a robotic arm. Once you determine servo min and servo max, then you're pretty much good to go. I need to point out the assumption here though is that if you had a robotic arm with six motors 
the assumption is you're running all six servos with the same manufacturer and the same model number which means the max and minimum displacements would be the same. If you start mixing motors, then you could be in for some problems. I hope this has been a uh, useful demonstration.